Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemelgal Model Railway. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the progress and the things that I've been doing over the last few days. Finally the weather has cooled a little bit so I'm able to spend a little bit more time up here than I have done over the last three or four weeks. So let me show you a speeded up version of some of the bits that I've been working on and then I'll give you a little tour of the scenic section that I'm working on at the moment. So this is what I've been doing over the last few days. As you can see in the background here, so let me just pan you in a little bit. So I have now finished making the viaduct. So this is all the 16 arches that are on there. And then I've started building the wall section that leads up into this corner here, which will be then the start of the town scene. I'm yet to join the main pieces at the back there. And I've still got a few of the capping stones and bits and pieces to do, but I just wanted to put it in place so that I could kind of see exactly where I can lay these two tracks and how much room I would have. Um, so I can still, because this is not glued down, I can still move this section off because I'll be painting it up. And then eventually adding some static grass to it. Now I've changed some of my lighting a little bit, so it's casted quite a shadow over the back there. But you will be able to see that a little bit better once I've got another light fixed how I have the one behind me. Now, I haven't uh, added any, any more track at the moment. I haven't got round or spent too much time up here just purely because of the heat. So I haven't um, fixed down any of these lines in the middle here, uh, but my curves at the back here have arrived. So I've started to plan out some of the curves on that section there. Now if I bring you down into this part here, so this was the part that you saw me starting to make at the beginning of the video. So what I've done is plaster bandaged up to here because I've actually run out. So I will need to source some more before I can do the rest of this section. Um, but this bit here is gonna be some sort of a, a woodland area uh, with enough that you can sort of see the trees through it. Uh, see the trees through it so you can see the locos through it and then that will just be all grassed off so all of these edges here will actually be smooth once I've plastered those over and I've just give a little bit of shape and texture to it then that stretches up into this section here and then at the back there where that piece of polystyrene is that's going to be the station halt so what I've done is I've actually measured out roughly the size that I want it and just put a scrap piece of polystyrene in there. Um, I'm going to scratch build a little station halt for that and then that will be the tumbler point. Then moving down into this section, so I've tried something a little bit new with um, the way that I've done things. Um, I've used this deep gap polyfiller and it's it's quite like sandy 
in texture. And what I've done is I've just tried a piece of it on here to form some like rocky, stony, bouldery sort of formation on here. And then what I'll do is I'll sort of paint it up and just see how it looks. Um, and if it doesn't work to how I want it to, um, then I will um, just plaster bandage over it because it's still at the same sort of height that I want it. So I'm just bringing you down to kind of see some of the shape formations in there. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure that this is going to work, um, but this will be forming um, part of the uh, coal yard that will be on here. So I've just added in my coal wagons or some of my coal wagons. Some of them I've actually got, I'll bring you around, so I've got like stone in instead. Um, but these ones, I've got some coal in. And then I've cut out a section here for where the coal yard will actually be. So uh, the coal merchants will be here. Uh, some coal saves and stuff will be all down in this section. So that when the um, things are shunted into the siding, there'll probably be like four sort of coal saves here, which would match four locos, uh, four wagons, sorry. If I bring you into a bit better light. So, if I bring you around, sorry about the camera work. So if I had four here, four wagons could unload and then they'll shunt them up and be able to do the next set of wagons up into those as well. And then that will be a little road section that will lead off in the distance. So up through here, I'll create some road and sort of bush and grass, this sort of area here. So then moving on to, and I apologize, the camera's all over the place. Um, I've temporarily put one light up and obviously it's shining behind me so I keep getting shadows so I'm trying to move the camera so you can see quite clearly. Uh, so apologies about that, I'll get that sorted in the next few days. Um, this section here, um, so I've glued these down, um, this is the start of the river. So with the river what I've done is mark out the length of how it will be, so it will stretch all the way down to the end there and what I've done is created a two layer so this will be the sort of edging of the bank so I put some curvature into that and then what I will do is smooth off these edges so that they kind of slope down so there will be less of a sort of sharp edge and it will be more of a gradient that will go down to the bottom and then with this edge, what I'm gonna do is build in like a, a textured stone retaining wall as if this bit has been man-made to deal with the road that will be on the top here. So this will be um, a bit of a road that will come over here to a bridge that will link up to this part and then there'll be a road that will go off down into that section and then the road will then serve what will be the farm section up on here. Then what I will do is put some bushes and stuff all along here so that then you'll just be able to see the coal merchants and the train tracks in the distance there. What I've done is I've added in a little bit of detail, um, just some of my Oxford die cast sort of trucks. So as you can see there, it'll be that I'll get some, I think ratio do the kits with the, the coal merchants is um, some little coal sacks and stuff to go on the back of a lorry maybe have a couple of them that will travel off 
you know, up into the distance as if they're going in towards town. And then what I'm thinking of doing is on the end there is putting some sort of uh, perspective picture of a road and some tops of houses because then when you look up the back there and what I've done is I've just elevated up a couple of buildings because that's where the town scene will be so when I'm doing any shots from down here you'll see a few houses and then a set of houses behind it as well just to give that sense of sort of depth to that part as well so that pretty much sums up the progress that I've made over the last few days. Um, it all takes time, it's all about planning and stuff. I've been trying to sort of put the camera into different angles and watching the trains run through it to kind of see how it looks on camera. I haven't drawn up any plans for this layout I'm just sort of just developing as it goes, so just taking my time with it really, just to kind of see how it all looks. Um, and I've still got to work out about this section here yet, how that looks. I might just, uh, like I say, give it a bit of a paint and just see how it looks before I go any further with it. Uh, just added back in couple of trees and the windmill although the uh, the blades have fallen off over there so I'll just have to stick those back on I'm actually going to motorize that one as well right so I'm gonna leave the video here I'm just gonna do a little bit of a running session with some of the locos now that I've uh, brought up my couple of train boxes now that the weather's cooled up here, it's actually quite nice now. So I'll leave you with a little bit of a running session. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of a close up of some of the bits that I've been doing. Just wanna say a massive thank you to everybody that's supporting me and continues to support me and a welcome to all those new people that have joined me recently. Also, just quickly, I would like to announce that I will be doing those um, live streams on a Saturday. I did post up a poll a few months back, but with the disruption with the heat and having the roof done, I've not got round to being able to do them on the Saturday. So I will pop up a picture of the thumbnail that I'll be using for the live streams and I'll also I'll add in a date of when those will start. It won't be this weekend, it should be next weekend but off the top of my head I don't know what the date of that will be. Um, but yeah I'll be announcing a regular live stream every other Saturday uh, just to kind of get those going. Um, the live streams will just be a running session and then just general model railway chit chat and everyone will be made mod moderators on the stream so that they can share their channels and just sort of build on the community and if you want to share any of your like your video links or anything like that then i'm happy for you to do that um that's what it will be about it's just uh you know getting everybody you know supporting each other right so i'm gonna stop waffling on and crack on with running some locos Take care, everyone, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.